Hey guys, so this is going to be part four of my business struggles or my business series and uh, I want to talk today about the funnel. So, um, okay, I'm not an expert but I know some people who, who are, say, more talented than I am and the, um, the one sort of big takeaway that I learned from the, the people that ran more successful online stuff to me is that they talk about the funnel, like the initial user experience, how people discover um, your your website and uh, the first impressions of it, and the, the first call to action, and, and 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 what that's going to be. And um, I'm just going to walk through for what that is in Web Converger right now, and um, and then feel free free to you know comment and critique. The um, the first impressions because I, I've I've been doing this for so long now that uh, in almost a decade that I I've kind of lost the plot I think but anyway let's just go through what the web converger funnel is so um, first off since I I don't do any advertising um, I think my search engine optimization is pretty good it could be just because I'm logged in right now but uh, well I could just go if anyway if you search for web kiosk software um, web conversion should be in the top three. I don't advertise. I mean, I do notice a lot of websites, you know, even like Instagram and quite established names still advertise on Google. You can tell by this little yellow ad thing. So here we are, web converger. Um, it loads pretty fast. It's on CloudFront. And this is what first people see. So what do I expect people to do? First, um, historically, it usually just had this one call to action to download the PC version. But now I do have an Android version. I do have a Raspberry Pi 2 version. So this is why there's these extra things. Um, a, a Twitterer complained to me that there's too many, too much stuff going on here, too many different fonts. He's probably right. But anyway, so the main thing I'm hoping to do, so we're talking about the funnel here, is that the person clicks this, starts downloading Web Converger, so these, now there's some uh, instructions about USB imaging and a USB guide to, to putting this onto a USB stick. Let me just save some bandwidth. And, and then the next thing I expect a person to do is sign up to the newsletter. Um, yeah. So what, once the um, USB imaging... Okay, so let's, let's assume that this is downloaded... So then the next thing I expect them to do is, is to, is to um, look at this guide, which seems a little bit overwhelming, but I try to make it as complete. There's a, there's a video or the step-by-step -step stuff. I guess most people are working from Windows, let's be honest. And then, and then they hopefully get it running, and, um, and then from there they subscribe. I'm not going to show that right now. I just want to keep this quite brief. So the the big problem with my funnel is that I kind of don't know from 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 um, from the download event to to when they actually run it if the if the if their journey if their user experience was complete. Never mind the fact that I don't really also know if they um, went as so far as to subscribe. You see, there's a break in my funnel because because they're downloading. Um, a system which is uh, which is which is a clean slate, and I don't and I don't know um, I don't know you know where they came from initially. Did they come from Google? Did they come from some review site? I don't really know. Uh, I just wanted to quickly me mention that I do track events like the download event using Google Analytics, and oh my gosh, Google Analytics! I don't know what to say. <sighs> There's quite a few different, anyway. Google Analytics is, I'm not going to be, on, I'm not going to lie to you, I hate this thing. It just freaks me out, really. <laughs> um, it's like a whole, it's like a full-time job trying to understand this program uh, and trying to make sense of it. So, uh, for example, these are my top events. I can see that there's been 400 down, uh, download events. Oh, no, you probably can't see that. Um, um, so monthly, 
yeah, I hate it how it goes. Just, oh, well. Yeah, I go monthly and then I have to adjust the date over here. Uh, let's get back a few bits. So, uh, well, my downloads have been... Um, going down. <laughs> um, okay, I don't want to get too distracted by by Google Analytics, but I think it's fair to say that most people um, try capture the funnel in Google Analytics. Of course, people have said like, when you download it, why didn't you like throw in some code or something so you can track it? But it's just too difficult to sort of repackage the ISO with a, a code fragment and I think quick enough and also you know it needs to be a fast download I can't I, I can't just download it from one place because it would be slow I, I use fastly CDN so that people quickly down the download the ISO um, and then like for my other products like the Android thing um, there's probably a way of tracking who clicks and installs the Android app, um, and, um, but I kind of feel like that most people just discover it through the Play Store, so I don't really know. And then the, the, the Pi thing is even more of a train wreck because, uh, because, well, the install is actually a little bit more difficult. Um, so yeah, that's the funnel. Um, so I, oh, I sh it doesn't really, okay, where did, how do I tell where people come from again? Uh, um, oh, acquisition here. Yeah. So acquisition. No, 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 no. So most people come direct. Some people come from a search. What do people search for? Web Converger, Linux Kiosk. I don't know. Um, maybe my search engine opti optimization is not very good. I don't really know. I mean, 11 seems kind of small, but is that just today? Uh, I don't really know. Um, ultimately, I guess the people that are looking for work for Joe are sort of IT admins, IT specialists who just search for. Obviously, again, I'm a search. I'm assuming that they're going to search for web kiosks instead of saying saying like lockdown PC or a single purpose machine. I mean, web converger could be described in several ways. All it is is just giving you a lockdown browser so that they people can just do just about one thing. Um, could be self service kiosks. Could be you know. Um, a be, uh, something that someone might use in a call center. But anyway, I thought I'd just show you the train wreck of my funnel and um, it'd be great to get your feedback. Thank you for watching.